hey in zanzi once again if you are stopping for the very first time please hit that subscribe button before proceed and if you find the video interesting or informative in any way please don't forget to give us a thumbs up because it's really gonna help out but we'll be talking about something very interesting in this video and it's all centered around foreigners uh, zimbabweans uh, people that are from malawi lesotho Mo mozambicans and i don't know i feel like some type of things are being done by these foreigners that to an extent maybe south africans or maybe people from any other part of the world tend to see them like bad people i mean there are certain times that maybe you've encountered a very bad thing concerning a foreigner let's say zimbabwe and it might in, in 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 every case give you a different notion about zimbabweans in general we'll be talking about the fact that some illegal mining equipment worth 12 million rands were seized from some illegal miners from Lesotho, Malawi, Mozambique and Zimbabwe and this was done in just a period of 10 days. So just imagine that if they could get mining equipment worth 12 million uh, rands for just 10 days, just imagine what can happen if this was done every day. I mean we're going to get back millions upon or billions of even uh, uh, equipment that were long gone and missing and we didn't even know at that time that they were already being stolen and aside that the sand f soldiers alongside the south africa army lights modern brigade actually arrested about 360 undocumented illegal miners from these countries and still within a period of 10 days I mean, how exactly do these people gain actually entry into the, in the, into the country? Does it actually mean that there is someone that is up there that, that brings them into the country at will? Because with this number in just a period of 10 days, I'm just trying to imagine the figures that we can get if this is done for just say a month. All the same big ups once again to the sound of uh, soldiers that were deployed by the president a couple of uh, weeks back i feel like they are actually meeting up to their expectations all the same what do you have to say regarding this video do you find it proper to illegally find yourself in another person's country and still be carrying out your mining activities in that country as if it's not enough you don't have papers and you still get to steal equipment leave your thoughts in the comment section guys mm -hmm.